This week on Machine Repeat TV, Sullivan Auctioneers kicks off a massive online sale. Pete and Dan highlight some choice deer equipment and break down the numbers. In the family for over 60 years, the 630 is still getting it done. And Pete fills us in on what's happening to values of used pickup trucks these days. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to the Machinery Repeat TV show. Today, a special treat for you. We're going to drop in on our good friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, of course, sponsors of our TV show for many years. And we're going to check out their Farmer Dealer Online Only Sale. This is a huge sale. A lot of the equipment is right on their lot in Hamilton, Illinois. But honestly, equipment from all over the country. And today we're going to focus in on a local farmer's retirement line within the online sale from Miller Farms. And I tell you what, there are a couple items I think that could be hot sellers today. A 2013 John Deere S550 combine, 844 engine hours. These smaller capacity combines, very hot in the last few years. And also the feature item on our show today, a 2013 John Deere 8235R tractor with under 1,000 hours on it. Now before we watch those, I think hot items sell, we gotta check out the latest farm equipment news. Thanks Greg, I'm Tyne Morgan. Well, tractor sales, they continue to impress right now. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers reporting all tractor sales were up 5% last month. For the year, tractor sales are 11% higher than 2020. Combine sales, well, those were up 73% last month and up 24% this year compared to last year. Big demand here at home for meat is helping Tyson Foods' bottom line. The company reporting stronger than expected quarterly profits. It's reporting a double-digit jump in sales and earnings for the fourth quarter. It says it was a record quarter for its beef segment in particular. That's despite a 20% increase in cattle prices. But it says inflation is impacting the business, with Tyson's CEO saying, quote, as rates of inflation continue, so will our pricing actions, end quote. Farmland values are continuing to surge. That's according to the latest report from the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. It reports the value of all types of farmland was about 15 percent higher across a major region of U.S. farm country compared to a year ago. The report says most lenders continue to be optimistic about the outlook for agriculture, but are also concerned about rising input costs. All right, let's check in on some recent prices from around the country. That's it for the news. Now back to Machinery Pete. Stay with us, folks. Coming up, we're going to watch a 2013 John Deere S550 combine sell. Now, these good use smaller machines, they've been attracting a ton of bidders lately. consignment sales you were up to was it four a year or was it I, I lose track then well it's easy to lose track Pete as much as you cover the amount of real estate you travel uh, we started out having two sales a year then we bumped it to to three and made a two day out of it and now we're having four sales a year two days and uh, we're even talking about maybe bumping it up more because we're having to shut it off early uh, this wow. thing just keeps just keeps growing and growing and uh, getting more stuff across the country and uh, it's not just a little local market anymore. It's, it's a worldwide market. Well, I'm curious, Dan, uh, again, on situations where, where farm retirements happen within a big sale like this of yours, or obviously you, 
you guys do an awesome job. If, if folks want to have their own event, uh, what are you, what are people saying about that decision they're making? Um, just, I'm just curious. We kind of leave it up to them, Pete, if they want to have their, their own event. And of course, a lot of them do, but uh, there's a certain amount of people maybe that don't, don't want a lot of you know people around or they don't want to have to worry about loadout and somebody out in Nebraska, Kansas, Canada, or whatever the case may be, buys a tractor and the duels need to be taken off you know, or loading dock. And so a lot of times they say, hey, listen, we just, we want it out of our way. You handle it. Uh, we don't want somebody pulling in here at midnight and parking off to the side and sleeping in their sleeper and waiting till tomorrow morning to load. So, uh, and then to, to, to have it, uh, you know, the, the, the eyes that we're putting on it again, without being repetitious, but, uh, you know, oh, ne nearly 3000 bidders today and I don't know how many different countries. So uh, they're sure an advantage to, to, to sell on their full line with, with us. Well, uh, you know, proof here, uh, the 50, 75E dance, 67 hours just sold for 32,000 bucks. And that's without a loader. So <laughs> very solid price there, low 30s. That's unreal. And it, it looks like the bidding just kept getting extended on that. It took a little while to close as we, as we were talking about it. But yeah, 18 model, 32,000, 67 hours for a little 50, 75E, that'd have to be towards the top. And somebody got themselves a nice, a like new three-year-old tractor right there. They're going to have some fun. If it, if it was sitting in the showroom or on a dealer lot, uh, Pete, uh, next to a new one, you couldn't tell the difference. This thing looks like brand new. Well, combine time, Dan. We have a little different one. We don't see too many of these. A 2013 John Deere S550 from the Miller, Miller Farm here. Low hours, 844 engine, I think 463 SEP, one owner. Uh, nice little combine. It is sweet combine, uh, Pete. Uh, one owner, like you said, to reiterate it, coming right out of the shed off of retirement. Uh, been a ton of a ton of interest in it. A lot of calls. I know Matt and Luke has fielded a lot of calls on that uh, combine. You know, it used to be kind of a smaller combine. There wasn't that much of a, a market out there. Now we're seeing more and more of, of these smaller, you know, combines and tractors uh, achieving higher prices than they ever have. This is this. They were bidding on it earlier this morning. It looks like they're tying right into it now. But uh, yeah, nice combine. You know, this kind of speaks for itself. That low of combine, that low of hour to combine off of retirement coming right out of the shed. And uh, again, uh, it, it has the right story. Yeah, I don't know about you, Dan, uh, but uh, over the years, as the John Deere, well, in all colors, but as the combines just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, when we do see a nice condition, smaller one like this, <clears throat> it people always they kind of say, wow, it's uh, manufacturers are kind of forgetting about the, maybe the smaller size operator, but for a lot of folks, this is the perfect rig, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. And uh, the, 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 the amount of bidders and the bids that are still coming in on this thing as we're speaking, Greg, is, is unbelievable. But uh, yeah, small, small combine, uh, you know, without circle back around to it, it's kind of what they're wanting, low hours and, right. and a good story behind it, Pete. Yeah, and the bidding again, just rocketing here this morning, Dan, as we're watching this thing close. I, two hours before closing time, it was at 105,000. And now yeah. it, it, we've been chatting here, uh, but it just closed at $151,000. Dan, that's the highest auction price uh, this year that I've seen on S550, actually the highest in three years. So again, the demand for nice uh, used combines, just super strong here. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale.
Machinery Pete TV is brought to you by Kubota. Together, we do more. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. When I'm asked about how the supply chain issue being so messed up is affecting prices, I like to start with a furniture story. Now, that might sound funny, folks, but uh, my sister-in-law here in Rochester, Minnesota, she and her husband went furniture shopping, and they found a nice sofa out on the showroom floor, and they said, hey, we want that sofa. And they were told, actually, you cannot buy that sofa. Uh, we will order one for you, and hopefully it will be here in 9 to 12 months. Uh, but we can't sell you that because we can't replace it and we need stuff on the showroom floor. We've seen the same exact thing happen with used farm equipment and with used pickups. Uh, used pickup prices just exploding higher here late in 2021. Now, here's a couple of examples from the auction market. So on a farm estate auction October 26th in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin by Miller & Company Auction and Appraisals, this 2004 Chevy 3500 Duramax Diesel Dually with only 50,028 miles on it, so for $36,000. Now folks, that's the highest auction price I've ever seen on a, on a 2002 to 2006 model Chevy 3500. And here's a look at the highest prices. You can see it's actually a record by 4,000 bucks. And the next highest price was from 15 years ago, December 8th of 05 on a farm auction in Pasco, Washington, where an 05 Chevy 3500 with only 10,000 miles on it and a 60,000 mile extended warranty went for $32,000. Now a week later on a November 2nd online farm auction in Milan, Illinois by our friends at Sullivan Auctioneers, this 2020 Ford F-350 Super Duty STX with a 7.3 liter V8 gas engine, only 5,727 miles, one owner, it sold for $68,000 on that online auction. That is the highest auction price I've ever seen on an F-350, folks. And I honestly think uh, used values on, on good condition used pickups probably going to go higher here the rest of 21 uh, on into 22, given as tight as the market is. It's all about availability. The good stuff's worth more money. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week we're off to central Indiana to learn about a classic John Deere. This 630 was purchased in 1959 and has been in the family ever since. Today, owner Greg Barnes takes us out to the field to show us what this beauty can do. It was my granddad's biggest tractor he ever farmed with. And when he passed away, our family gave it to my brother and I, and we had it redone about 20 years ago, and we've been playing with it ever since. It's a lot of fun. We don't have a farm, but my granddad did, and we, we just come out for plow day, and I plow gardens on the side when people call me and ask me about it. They completely went through everything, painted it, done some motor work to it, and then we just put new tires and rims on it yesterday, actually. I'm pulling a fully mounted three bottom, 314 bottom plow, plowing on cover crop, and it's a little slick out today. Uh, we're just gonna keep it in the family as long as we can. The Tire Grabber is designed with your safety in mind, supporting your heavy lifting jobs with a heavy duty jack and tire handler duo. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. Find farm equipment on Machinery Pete's November 23rd online auction. No reserve, no buyer fees. Start bidding now at auctions.machinerypeat.com. Hi Greg, I'm standing in front of this 2013 John Deere 8235R tractor. It has all the options you'd want on a tractor, power shift, mechanical front, 
auto track ready, 60 gallon per minute hydraulic pump. It was brought to us by the Miller, uh, Miller Retirement from Alexis, Illinois. Uh, they bought it brand new and they farmed about 300 acres. Shedded every single night and it has 990 hours on it. Ah, uh, just a beautiful tractor. Yeah, it is, Pete. And the, with the demand for, for that size of a tractor in that year uh, and the availability of those types of tractors are, are not out there. So uh, that's kind of the reason the, there's been so much activity on this tractor. Been a lot of lookers. Uh, I know I saw you out on the lot and uh, walking through, didn't have a whole lot of chance to stop and, stop and visit with you, Pete. But uh, a lot of people uh, looking at that tractor, the year, the hours, you know, a retirement coming right out of the farmer's machine shed. Uh, wow, it's got a lot of action going on it. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Dan? Uh, you think back a few years ago, <clears throat> well, I say a few, but you know, four, five, six years ago when dealers had tons of these things sitting on the lot. Yeah. And here we are now in late summer 2021, and you've got a 13 model with low hours, one, you know, uh, low hours like this. The demand is just, I mean, the auction prices we've been seeing just skyrocketing on these things. Yeah, it is. I mean, Pete, you you said you hit it on the head. You're spot on when you talk about demand and the availability that's out there on the market. They're not there. The dealers don't have them on their lots and people can't find them. And uh, so I think that's the reason for the, the extra amount of bidders today for the sale, uh, the different countries that are that are logged on bidding. And uh, uh, it, it's surprising. Uh, but I guess when you stop and, and take a step back and, and see what's out there, maybe it's not so surprising, but these prices are really strong here today. Well, uh, you talk strong, Dan. Holy smokes. While we were chatting here, this thing just sold for $186,000. And I, I feel like I, I'm sounding like a broken record here, Dan, but you just set another all-time record high auction price here. Just for perspective, the previous high I'd ever seen on an 8235R was uh, 177.5. Wow. So, I mean, you just set it by 8,500 bucks. Just incredible demand. Unbelievable. Yep, 186,000 just so looks like that tractor's going to north of Indianapolis, north of Indy. Well, folks, I'll let you in on a little secret. All these years I've been covering farm machinery auctions, uh, actually 32 years this month, I have had a great time going out to the sales and watching the machinery sell or covering them and reporting to you what stuff is bringing. But honestly, the most fun I have is when I go out to auctions and meet folks like you and hear your stories from the farm. Now recently I was out covering an auction in Maryland, we were filming for the TV show, and I met Crystal and Ed Rothy. And they were from Ellington, Connecticut. They drove a little over five hours down to the auction and we just had a great visit. Now the Rothys actually grow 11 acres of tobacco. Now, hey, I'm a Minnesota boy and I gotta confess, I did not know you could grow tobacco in Connecticut. So thankfully, Crystal is, a, is like a professional egg photographer. You can see from the quality of these pictures she shared. But uh, she said, here's one of her favorite pictures of Ed cultivating broadleaf tobacco with their farm all Super C. So how cool is that? Now here's a picture of Ed Sr. Uh, driving the farm all 200 while Ed Jr. and Gene used the wiggly hose, as, as Crystal describes it, to cultivate the weeds. Now here's a picture of Ed planting with one of their uh, Alice Chalmers G tractors and the Planet Junior Cedar. And uh, here's a picture of Ed Junior and Ed Senior spearing tobacco together. And again, all new to me as a Minnesota boy, kind of fascinating. Now Crystal sent a couple more pictures and said, Pete, we still chop corn with our Farmall 806 and our John Deere one row chopper. And we actually have a pair of homemade dump carts hooked to the Farmall M and the Farmall uh, Super MTA. So Crystal and Ed, thank you for sharing these pictures. It was great visiting with you and thank you for educating all of us on what it's like to grow tobacco in Connecticut. Well folks, thanks for joining us this week on Machinery Repeat TV. Always great fun to catch up with my great friends at Sullivan Auctioneers. Uh, they're a huge absolute farmer dealer online only auction. And we, we were right about those couple items from the Miller Farms local retirement sale within the online auction. Wow, that John Deere S550 combine, highest auction price on an S550 in three years, and honestly, the highest auction price I've ever seen on an S550 with over 700 engine hours on it. And our feature item, that John Deere 8235R, 
another record high tractor price at auction there folks 2021 has been quite a year we'll see you back here next week on machinery pete tv machinery pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support sullivan auctioneers let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success visit sullivanauctioneers.com